Welcome to Keep Calm and Bake. My name's Caroline Miliartis, and over the next few episodes, we're going to be baking a whole assortment of baking delights. Everything from treacle tarts to donuts. Oh, yes. This episode, I'm going to teach you how to make some donuts. Amazing, I know. Uh, and they're actually very easy. There's a couple of stages. I'm going to walk you through it all. And soon you'll be making Krispy Kreme like donuts at home yourself. The first stage is to make your dough. Now I'm going to pour my milk into a saucepan because you want your milk to be lukewarm. Now I'm going to add water in as well. Milk and water together. Now leave that to get warm. And then we're going to add in. The yeast. Now don't worry, we have the full list of ingredients written in the description box for you. Now my milk is at body temperature. You can test this carefully by sticking your finger in. No, it's not burning, it's fine. It's body temperature, that means it's not too hot, not too cold. This is the perfect temperature for yeast to rise. So I've got some dried instant yeast. I'm using some of that, that's fine. Pour that into your milk. About a teaspoon of sugar. Now I'm also going to add butter into this. I've melted the butter already. Now we'll leave this mixture for about five minutes just until it starts going nice and foamy. This has gone nice and frothy now. You can see it bubbling up and that means that the yeast has been activated and it's rearing to go. Now using a large bowl, put the rest of your sugar into the bowl, pour the frothy yeast mixture in, give that a little stir around. Now I'm going to add in some of the flour, about maybe a third of the flour. We're going to mix this all together so it makes a nice kind of sticky paste. This is definitely such a fun one to do with someone else as well. Because let's face it, you're going to need someone else to eat all these with, right? Why are you making donuts? Now I'm going to add the eggs. Two eggs going in. Egg, two eggs going in. Beat those all into your mixture. A little bit of salt. It's smelling like donuts already. Right, mix that till it's nice and smooth. Now we're going to add the rest of the flour. Mix it in a bit at a time until it forms a big ball of dough. Okay, a bit more flour. I'm going to add the rest of it in now. You're going to need a bit of extra flour when you start kneading it. There we go. Whoa. Right. Now, if the mixture is a little bit too sticky, that's a bit too sticky, we can just add a bit more flour. And now I'm going to get my hands dirty and start kneading this together. It's like when you make bread, you have to knead it until it goes kind of elasticy and stretchy. Right, this dough is ready. Now once it's nice and elastic like this, we're going to pop it back into the bowl. And now we're going to leave this to rise, okay? We're going to cover it with a damp cloth. Leave it somewhere warm for about an hour and a half or until it's doubled in size. And here, true Blue Peter style, is one I made earlier. This should have uh, risen. Ooh, that's risen well, okay. Now we're gonna take this dough and move it onto a work surface, lightly floured. Okay. You're gonna need a rolling pin. Lightly flour your rolling pin too. Love doing it, look at that, wow. It has grown, literally. Wow. Now, just a little knead, and then we're gonna roll this. Now, if you get um, as excited about donuts as I do, then hit subscribe. You're going to get loads more fantastic recipes like this. We're going to roll it out until it's about a centimetre thick, and then we can start cutting the donut shapes. Now, if you don't have a donut cutter at home, use either a serrated, uh, bigger and smaller, or use a bowl and then cut round the bowl and then either use a smaller bowl or even a bottle top. If you take the lid off a bottle top and then stab a hole in, I've done that before. You have to get very creative. 
Right. I'm using the non serrated side, and then in the middle. There we go. Once we've cut the shapes, I'm going to lay them onto a lightly floured baking tray. I've put some um, greaseproof paper down there. We're going to pop them on there. Now this donut recipe, you can actually make whatever type of donuts that you want. So if you wanted just to make small little round balls and fry them off, that's, you know, that's fine. You could fill them with jam at the end. You can even make whatever shapes you fancy. So I'm just going to be showing you the classic ring donut. But do get creative and let me know what you come up with. Donuts are rolled and ready. I'm going to leave them somewhere warm and cover them with a tea cloth for about 40 minutes. So they're going to rise some more now. I've got my oil on heating. So that's going to be nice and hot very soon. But before we start cooking the donuts, I'm going to make the glaze. Now I'm just going to add my icing sugar into a small saucepan. We're going to pop this on to heat because we want to melt it down. I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of some hot water just mix it into a runny paste. I'm gonna add a teeny little squirt of some vanilla extract, there we go. Give that a stir. Once it's all kind of gone a bit clearer, then we can take it off the heat. So it's just begun to bubble, the icing sugar mixture. Now we can take it off the heat and just leave it somewhere on the side. Ooh, perfect. They've doubled in size. I'm just going to test if the oil is hot enough by putting a little bit of dough in there and it should just fizz and come up to the top. Well, it comes off my finger. That's perfect. You don't want to overcrowd the oil. I'm going to put two in, in fact. There we go, one, two in there. Ah, oh, I'm going to put another one in. What the hey? There we go. Leave them for a few seconds. Once they, go, um, once they go light golden on the bottom, then we can turn them so it cooks the other side. This bit is very quick and that is perfect. So golden brown, straight onto some uh, paper towel. There we go. And now whilst they're still hot, we can add the glaze on. Now either using a brush, or using a spoon, you just dribble the glaze on all over like that. While they're still hot is fine. And then we're gonna leave them to cool down and the glaze will go lovely and crusty. Oh, very nice. I'm gonna finish cooking off my donuts now. I hope you all really enjoy this recipe. Join me again next time on Keep Calm and Bake. And uh, taste test. Oh yeah, that's good. Sweet fried dough. Can't get better than that.